Hello, YouTube. So, I've been a little MIA because I've been enjoying the first Descendant a lot. But I'm going to try to give you my unbiased review. And I can't do a first impression anymore because I have sunk in over 169 hours of playtime in the first Descendant. I have been grinding, dude. That is a lot of hours in this game. So, I mean, who better to give you an opinion, right? Than someone who's kind of devoured every inch of the game by now. I completed the campaign. You're not going to get some bias IGN review about, oh my God, my old game from 20 years ago did this mechanic better. I have no point of reference. I have not played the other competitors' games, Warframe, Destiny, or any other looter shooter for that matter. This is my first game entry in that genre this is my f unfiltered try to be as unbiased as possible but that's going to be a little bit hard considering the fact that i have been enjoying this game a lot so i do understand that i am going to be biased much like everybody else's if you played warframe at one point you're going to be bi biased giving your opinion about this game but here we go chat right off the bat skip all the bull my number rating if you want to just skip, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on the video. I'm going to give this game a solid 7.5 out of 10. I know that might seem like a little bit low, but I do think that the game still has a lot um, to go through. And like I try to tell my chat on the daily, I think live service games are brilliant and they would be good if they released at a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. But unfortunately, or fortunately, we, the community, and our player feedback is what make these games so great. Path of Exile 1 is an example of a game that released really, really terrible. And they went on to develop one of the best ARPGs out there. Probably the best ARPG out there. Warframe was not a stellar release either. Warframe released a bunch of issues with a bunch of issues. And they developed their game to be one of their favorite in the genre. Looter shooter genre. Uh, according to a lot of you guys. So I've been doing my research and other games here and there. But here is my um, opinion. I think graphics. The game does very well. Scenery. The moment you boot the game up. You are loaded into a gorgeous visual experience with their cinematics being amazing, um, their descendants looking really good, special effects, everything, the mountains at a distance. The game looks really, really, really good, um, especially this class right here. Looks really, really, really good. Uh, so visuals to me are at the top. The game does feel a little bit dead, though, with these visuals come a um, a little bit of a drawback for me i wish that the game had more stuff to do in the open world you know right here loading into the hub you can see a lot of people and this is as much as the game will feel alive to you i could be coming from a really biased perspective here being an mmorpg enjoyer the games are mostly always alive open world um there's a lot of people there's trading there's this there's that the, the worlds feel alive and in this game this is the only hub that feels alive when you exit this and go to out, outside the game is met with a bunch of um yeah well it's, it, it doesn't look that good you know it doesn't look that good once you start going outside sound design great voice acting voice lines i had to change to korean voice acting because the english voice acting i felt was a little dookie but again i don't think it's good enough or bad enough to kill game experience for me imagine you playing the game for the voice acting i don't know i feel like that is secondary or third dairy or on the list at the bottom of things you should care about in a video game especially when the the, the focus is on the the gameplay the combat the gun um and speaking of combat the combat plays really 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 well every gun feels very unique i've played a lot of guns already because they start throwing loot at you left right center try this gun try this gun every gun feels very unique with its modules and stuff allocated into the gun itself the game just there's a lot of variety there's a lot of variety there for all types of um gun enjoyers um the characters i have not played many characters but the characters that i have tried to play feel all uniquely uh distinct they feel really good they all feel really really great they all look really good and i can't wait to continue playing more characters 
Uh, monetization, I think, um, obviously, games would be better if they didn't have a lot of monetization on. But for a Nexon game and uh, viewing Nexon's reputation, this game is one of its least offenders. For a Nexon game, this game does really, really good at giving you a lot, if not everything, in the game for free. You can acquire all the power-ups, all the descendants, all the guns in the game by just simply playing the game. Is the game super grindy? The game can be considered grindy, but welcome to looter shooters. This is the genre. It's like booting up Mario and complaining that there's platforming in the Mario. That is the genre. You are meant to grind for hours, days, to get a weapon, to get a descendant, and that is just the genre. I feel like it's a little unfair to then complain that there's grinding in your grindy game. Um, aside from that, the visuals of the game, uh, the combat feels really good, monetization. I would love for there to be less monetization, but I'm also not against the monetization that they do have in the game. I don't think it's predatory. I don't think it's scummy. There's things that they could do better. Like there are some descendants that take like 30 something hours to craft. Could that be lowered to make the gaming experience a little bit better for the player? Absolutely. Take that 30 hours down to like one hour max and you have yourself a perfect game uh, or a perfect system there. Um, but again, I think the game does pretty good. The game is given to you out uh, for free. So if you feel like d grinding on a new character is too tedious and annoying for you, guess what? Since the game is free, you can maybe sh shove um, $6 for a new class. $6, paying $6 for a game that's given to you for free doesn't seem like that bad of a deal. But that's just my take. I don't know, maybe maybe I am speaking from a very biased perspective here. I don't really see a lot of scummy practices. Um, could the monetization be lowered? Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Uh, audio design seems fine. The music seems great. Um, except for the voice lines. I think a 7.5 for first descendant is going to be as good as it gets the next the developer with one thing that needs to be said about the developer a lot of people are hating on this game because of the developer let's be honest nexon has a really bad reputation one of the most horrible reputations in the gaming industry with the way they handled the maple story monetization and scamming uh people from their um, percent drop rates etc cetera, etc cetera. the stuff that they had done there and next on throughout the years carries a really bad reputation but as a person who has been devouring T uh tfd this game since launch since beta the developers have already been very transparent with how they're planning to carry this game out before this, the week was up, they already had a hotfix patch that even implemented a patch that would cost them money. They implemented other ways where you can grind out materials so you don't spend, a, so you're not forced or feel forced to give them money. That speaks volumes to me. Maybe it's just a little cookie they're giving me so they can sell me some other things in the future. That's up for the future. But for now, I think there is really good promise in the game. And the developers, I don't know, they've sold me on it so far. Um, maybe this video doesn't age well, and in a month I will be like saying, Oh my god, this game is trash. I hate this game. Man, the developers are trashy, scummy. But for right now, I think that this game is a really good game. And with the player feedback and stuff moving forward, this could be a perfect game. 7.5 out of 10 for me. And if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. Leave your comment down below. What would you rate this video? What do you rate the first Descendant? Go, 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 go. Tell me. Tell me. What do you think? I'd like to hear it. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Hey, you. Going somewhere? Well, before you go somewhere, how about you hit that follow button? Comment, like, and subscribe. Do yourself a solid. Help a girl out. <laughs> okay, that was major cringe. Just hit the follow button, subscribe or something.